Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One, coming to you Monday, May 31st, Memorial Day, the year's 2021. Let's talk trading. It's time for the weekly wrap up. And just so you know, these videos are for educational purposes only. Your results may differ from mine. So, since we're looking at the monthly wrap up, we'll start off with the monthly chart. You can see that we are 396 pips above the monthly open, 27 pips off the high, 406 off the low, 198 pips above the previous month's high. Definitely a, a bullish month, but according to the um, seasonality, it said that price peaks in very early May and bearish till mid-May and a bottom typically forms in mid-May. I don't think that um, held true this month because you can see for the weeks, it was just for the four weeks, up, 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 up. So in fact, I, I, th I don't think this was a, Actually, this was the first week, so you can see here, we've been up the uh, entire month. Now, we take a quick look here. Uh, we're putting in the uh, opening range for the week. You can see we're way above the opening range for the month, 276 pips at the moment. So very, very bullish month. In fact, we uh, came close here to testing the high from February. And speaking of that high, we're 32 pips off that yearly high and 565 pips above the yearly open at the moment. Uh, inside bar here Friday, we're right at the high of that inside bar. Let's see if we break it. We did break it once, almost broke the weekly inside bar, just missed it by about a pip. So inside bar traders look for action. As far as the monthly inside bar high or look high, uh, we broke that earlier in the month. Still a lot of action inside bar traders this week, but it is a holiday. So ranges are muted. We only have two pairs over 100 pound clocking in at 54. Really not a day um, to do much trading, though we did have a pretty huge move on the uh, pound. You can see three hours ago, it was an explosion to the upside. We took out that pivot from I think I told you that in yesterday's video, filled the gap. And you can see here, buy zone trade really would have paid off. Which was kind of interesting because according to the pivot plan, it said if you were near the pivot point um, or S1, you wanted to, actually, if you were near the pivot point, I believe they said you wanted to go short, but um, that wouldn't have worked out too well. Red rats are probably looking to uh, feast here. You can see bias is short if it's got near R1. So that played out price at or near pivot. Bias is short did not play out. Well, there was a few pips to be had, but when it crossed above, it kept going. So just remember price, if it crosses above, then it's going up. If it crosses below, it's going down from that reference point. It's hard to argue with that. That's the H4 pivot. Hasn't been taken out. You can see that one was taken out. That was one I was I had a trade 
play on. So we'll look to see if we can get this pivot taken out. As far as the daily, taken out. So it looks like we're going to end the month with one missed pivot unless something drastic happens in the next few hours. Um, you can see here bouncing between the wick zones. We're in the upper wick zone at the moment, daily upper wick zone that is. And we'll see if price wants to get out of that area. Oh, uh, just showing some imbalances here with the um, highest low. You can see that was at uh, 142.068. And price just can't seem to get above this area right in here. So looking for price to possibly head down. And you can see by the ranges, there's just nothing happening. 47 minutes into the hour, and we only have a four pip range. And also the spreads 1.2 um, just doesn't look quite right. On the wall mall line, you can see here it tried to make a new low. Only got through it by not even a pip, I believe. Low, yeah, not even a pip. But you can see here on the M5 chart, it just took off. So there was somebody wanted to push price up here. I don't know if they um, just bought here. They wanted to bring up price so they could short again. And somebody could say that was stop hunting. Who knows? People like to tell stories about price and about the market and how it moves. Um, I didn't see any questions like over the uh, weekend. I think most people were on holiday, so that's okay. And also, if you guys have any, or, or guys, girls, <laughs> non-binary traders if you have any topics you would like me to cover um either a new topic or revisit an old topic or cover something in more detail uh just feel free to let me know um, i got plenty of topics to talk about um there's some new indicators out there i can go into in a little more depth um I know there were some people, um, they're still struggling with the wall mall method. Um, I really don't know what else to tell you. I mean, you know, these are the hours from about, from the nine to uh, nine, let's see, nine to about 19, I guess. These are, no, 18, Th these are the hours you want to trade the wall mall that's you know plenty of time if you can't make your pips in a couple of two or three of those hours um you really got to make sure you're following the plan and not um doing something else i mean price is just going to range and it's that simple so I really don't know um, what else to tell you about that. Um, it's a simple horizontal line trade as we go over. Um, I know what the other one was. It was. We were talking about the rat the other day, Walmart and I. And one of the things about the rat trade, um, let's see, I should probably go back to the rat trade, is if you're... <laughs> You know, you say you get into a trade and then it goes against you or something. Say maybe you got in a trade here and it goes against you and that keeps happening and you have your stop and you keep stopping out because, um, you know, this is a 20 pip range. Maybe you have a five pip stop, a seven pip stop, whatever. Um, to me, the answer is simple. And I've mentioned this before. Move up to the H1 candle color. Um, in hindsight, yes, it looks good. 
But since you know what you're doing, nothing changes. Um, you know, if you see price making a low on a particular hour, then just sit a new low or a new high. Just sit on your hands. Just wait. So, for example, here, a couple hours ago, it made a new high, and you're looking to reverse. Just wait. Just wait. Now, there's a couple ways you could enter. You could, as soon as it broke the previous hour's high, you could jump in there. And then you could see, you could have a really tight stop in case it reverses on you. Because the high was uh, 17 and the entry was 15.5. So really tight stop. Not a problem if you want it to. Or you could do a holo trade and you could have jumped in at that level. Or what I'm suggesting is, is you wait this is the candle that made the high, let it close. You can see it started dropping. You just jump in. You still have a pretty tight stop there. The open was at 12 and that was 17. So you could have a maybe a six to 10 pip stop and just wait. You enter and then you just wait and see if it comes out of that rat zone or not. And that's really pretty much all there is to it. So rather than try and trade a rat trade off a one minute or five minute or even 15 minute chart, just move up to the H1 chart, sit on your hands and wait and see. So in, here's another example, you know, price was testing the low, it came back. You can see here, you could have jumped in, you still would have been on a red H1 candle. You could then or wait for the open or actually let's see the lowest open was right there. You could take a holo trade, but you'd still be on a red H1. So that's a little risky or you could just let it go green. And so you'd been in at 73, which is 10 pips above 63. And you might be thinking, oh, well, I could have had 10 pips. Yeah, well, you could have lost too. <laughs> so but price turned green and if you stuck with it you you made bank so for the rat traders who are struggling that's pretty much what you want to do and almost ditto for the um if you're struggling on almost any method it's you're getting cut up your timing it doesn't seem to be right it's then move up a time frame or two that way you've got you know those candle colors behind you so rather than trading against them um and that's just something that's simple to do and here you can see all these wicks i mean what does that tell you all these that means there's got to be a bunch of sellers here pushing price down pushing price down I know there's some uh, some guys talks about wicks don't lie. Um, um, yeah, I think I've watched one or two of their videos, but um, I mean, I, I just know what I know from all the statistics that I've run on price and what price does at certain levels or in certain areas, um, as you can see here. And, you know, what the smart range is, knowing what's going on from a range standpoint. So, you know, with the higher low and lower highs, it it just seems, those seem to work too. Sometimes, you know, the lower high might get you in a little bit later, say, than a, um, a holo trade, but that's okay. Because we've got the lower close, higher close, but usually in Forex, um, unless there's a cap, you know, close and open are going to be the same. So if you look here on uh, M5, it's pretty much the same. Oh, and if you're wondering what these dots are, those are the TRO mid dots. The latest version has the lower high and higher low dots. So you can see how as those... Um, as price or time marches forward, the lowest high for the last 34 bars 
is going to change with it. Sometimes they move.